Hi friends, this is Rajeshwar Rayapati and welcome to my channel Rayapati. Today I am going to discuss a topic which is which consists of two scenarios. One is number of days in a month and the number of working days in your database. Now for that, first we will talk about number of days in a month. How to get the number of days in a month? Now, when we have a date in a month, what do we need to get the number of days? The first day of the month and the last day of the month. So if you can get the first day and the last day of the month, the difference will be the number of days in the month. Now, for that, first we need the first day of the month. So first what I'll do is rather than this, I'll go to order date and I'll go to create custom date. And in here, I'll create month, day, year. This is one field. And again, I'll go there, same. I'll say custom date. And in here, I'll create month, year. Okay, now let me drag the month, day, year to here. Now you will get all the days. Okay, this is similar to the exact days that we do. And now I want the first day of, see these are the days in a month. I want the first day of the month for every field of this. So for that, what I will do, we have a function date trunk. Right, we have date trunk for the in that I'll take ordered month day year. Now, the issue here is the whenever you are using date trunk and when you are using this custom date field, you will have an error stating date trunk is being called with an integer. Did you mean string or string along with a date time? So, the problem here is whatever you are seeing here this is actually behind this it is actually a number it is converted as i said numbers uh, dates are julian numbers so here this is converted in the background these are numbers that is why this error is being shown so i i put this because i wanted to show you this error and now we can just take order date when you just take order date it is a date but the problem is here we miss we miss the field like what part do you want now i say month okay now then i see the calculation is valid now i'll say first day of month of month okay now apply okay now here let me drag this first day of month here first because i am going to uh, go for exact date and for that it takes the time that takes the time to render so I'll jump saying discrete now I'll just drag this in now you see you got all the first days but the problem is you are also having time what why are we having time because when you say date run it will get to the first possible date part so what is the first possible date part in a day a first if I'm saying month that month's first day first hour first minute and first second so that is why this is coming now to remove that what we'll do is i was saying going to the same first date i'm saying edit and in here i'll say date okay date when you use a date function it will only take the date part so for date and time there is a date time function so this date function will only take the date part so when i say apply you can see these zeros will be removed Okay, we got your first day of the month and then I want the last day of the month. How to get the last day? Now, directly we can't. So that is why we go for another way around. Like from this month going to the next month, getting the first day of that next month and minus one of that first day of the next month will give you the last day of the current month. Too long, right? Let me ex execute it in here. Now, I want the next month. So, date add of now what do i want i want to add a month comma how many months i want one month i want to add and order date now let me let this be calculation one for now because i'll be changing this a lot so i don't want to need change the calculation every time now again i'll do the same i'll say i'll say uh, exact day and then i'll say this okay now i'll drag this in here. now again you got your 
see exact exact day for the next month okay now once you have achieved this then what we'll do is we want the first day of in this i want the first day of this month so already we have done that now again we'll be doing the same let me take the space here date trunk of what do we want month comma the date right now when i say apply we'll get first of february here when it is first of january here now we'll get first of february okay see first of february we got. but we are not interested in the first of february right but before that i just want to remove these zero zeros these are a bit uh, so i'll use my date function as we discussed why we are using date earlier now when i say apply date you will not see these zeros okay now i am getting the first day of next month i need last day of the current month so minus now if i say apply you will get the last day sorry i didn't click apply yeah now see all the time you will get the last right now we have done this part okay let me rename this edit now let me say this as last day of month now we got starting point and ending point so how do what what is remaining we can we want to calculate the distance between them so last day of the month minus first day of the month now when you see i'll then say take this as a number of days in a month a bit long but fine now when i see here when i when i say apply i want you to observe one thing when i say apply now i am dragging this number of days to text now you are getting all these because there is an aggregation that is being done because january 4 it might be present three days fifth jan in the database it is it is the uh, january 4 is present in three rows and uh, fifth jan is present in one row so on so forth but i want one only only the number of days i don't want the aggregate so here i am taking it as average now you see you got 30 but if you observe here the total there are 20 31 days but you are getting only 30 because when you are when you are subtracting the last day from the first day you are also removing one extra day so now for that i will say plus one now when i say plus one and then apply now you get your 31 days which is in january and if you go down you'll get 29 days 31 days 30 days 31 days this is what you get. okay this is fine till now it is fine but now what i want is now when i drag day month year those i am just dragging month and year but here i if i drag this again where is this number of days in a month again it is going to give a problem but again with average we can solve it but we don't want to do this average and all we want a straight solid answer then for that what we will do is create calculated field and as you know i am mad with LODs. so fixed i will state order date month and year this is the level that i want it right now at that level I want the average in here whatever you take that the aggregation is not going to matter because this is going to give you a solid uh, value it is not going to change when you are using fixed delivery so average of number of days in a month okay now let me take this as num l number of days l o d okay let me apply okay now in the number of days l is i'll drag it here now see without anything you got directly you need not go and change the aggregates and all even if you come here and even if you change that to average nothing is going to change so this is a solve you can use it in calculations without any issues so one is done like we got the number of days in a month but the second question is the number of working days in a month how do we get the number of working days in a month actually it is very simple now 
again i am going for lod is fixed okay now i am taking order date the same way month and year i want number of working days in a month so i am taking my dimension here in this lod as month and month and year and here i'll just say count distinct of order day month day year okay let me bring this down it will be clear now see so i'll just close this okay let me say apply okay now let me drag this calculation one field in here now see you got 15 working days in january and you got 14 working days in february now let me name this as number of working days okay apply okay now we don't need this anymore but see you got your 15 days here you got 14 days but in january there are 31 days right but why are we getting only 15 because if you come and see here if you select from here to here now see 15 marks are selected in january how many are how many days are there working days in this database 15 now again i'll check for february also just for confirmation see i'll select february and again i'm holding my shift and i select on 24 now how many i'm getting 14 now for february how many do working days do i have 14 days and over this if someone asks to remove certain uh, certain weekdays, like I don't want them these Sundays in the or Saturdays in this, then go for analysis, create calculated field, or we'll do one thing: uh, number of days, uh, number of working days. Where is that number of working days here? Yeah. I'll just take a duplicate of it. Again, I don't want to write all the calculation. In this, I'll say edit number of working days or number of and let me name it as specific working days okay here you have your count but i'll just tweak it a little nothing just uh, observe me carefully if day of order day is equal to seven okay seven is sometimes it is sunday or sometimes it is saturday depending on what is the day of your week okay then zero else this one i'll just put else downside yeah okay and then i am saying else uh, day of year i just don't want this uh, day of year is equal to zero then else uh, this then and end my if statement and then i'll close the braces now the calculation is valid now let's say apply okay now number of specific working days i'll just drag in here now you will see there are, see there is no much of a change in here okay i'm afraid there is no change at all okay why is there no change in here so let me see let me see if there are any sundays in here now we'll just what we'll see do is analysis create calculated field day of order date okay now day of day i'll just name it as day apply okay. now let me drag this in here and let me strike it as an average or do one thing
okay that's it for the video guys i hope you liked it and if you like the video please do like subscribe and share my channel right but and also share it with your friends who are working on tableau and are struck at some point and i am present on telegram and facebook guys so whenever you feel any issue in tableau just uh, come and uh, uh, comment there even youtube videos also if you can comment with your uh, scenario i can always help you there also thank you guys thanks a lot